Welcome to the video, Matt and Emma here. If you've been watching us for a while, you would have seen a couple months ago, we had a subscriber from Sweden and another subscriber from America send us a box of snacks to try some of their staple favorite national snacks and today luckily we have been sent another box from a subscriber once again this time though from Australia it's had a bit of a journey it's a long journey I don't know if you can see everything looks intact inside so yeah, it's good that's the main thing this box is from Monique in Australia we've reached out we let her know that it's arrived basically safe and sound. Thank you so much for sending this box. Thank you so much, Monique. It is massive. This is Couldn't believe the size of it when it came. Heaving with snacks. We have had a bit of a sneak peek because it was already open. Like, you just want to check that everything can't, was there. Can't but we wait. haven't really looked, and to be fair, we looked so long ago now that yeah. I can't really remember what we saw. We really, really love doing these videos because it really gives us a chance to try, try things we've never tried before. Um, obviously, we love traveling. <laughs> but we've not yeah. been able to travel for a long time now. Australia's on the list as well. We've Definitely. had to do like Australia, Indonesia, but obviously we haven't been able to go, but the taste of Australia is in this box. The next best thing. But yeah, thank you so much for sending this, for watching our videos. We always chat with you on Instagram as well. And it's just lovely to be sort of part of this little community yeah. that's building. Okay. What we got, what we got? What don't we got? Go a lucky in. dip. Okay, some oh shiitake mushroom crisps. Mushroom crisps. Straight off crisps. the bat, oven baked sour cream and tribe. Oh, okay, Ooh. this looks like Walkers. They look called nice. Smith's. It's Ooh, a big box. It's a big old box. What is that? What is that? Is that a box of crisps? Shapes. Oh my days. Okay. That's right up your alley. There are fifteen packs in that. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Result. Not going to get anything else done today. We're working today, by the way. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is our lunch. This is our break. lunch break. Oh, some iced coffee. We've got almond milk. Oh yeah. Oh, it's vegan. Almond milk and sugar free. You yeah. know us. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, there's a card. There's Emma's favourite. Should I save that? Yeah, save that. Jam lamingtons. Tim Tams. Heard of them? Tim Tams. More oh. Tim Tams. Oh my god, there's so much in here. Salted caramel Tim Tams. More crisps. More crisps. Result. It's like Christmas again. Oh, Salt, Salt and vinegar. vinegar but but they're pink. pink. Fruit roll-ups. Oh, they're like a... Um, fruit salad flavour. We got those in here. What are they called? Winders. Fruit winders. Sours. Goodness, there's so much in here. A wagon wheel. Ooh. But a completely different looking wagon wheel. Turkish Delight, oh dear. Milky Bars, two different types of Milky Bars, a Curly Whirly. Oh, we do have that here. Marshmallow Santa. Double Cookies and Cream Kit Kat. <gasps> Is that Vegemite? Squeezy Vegemite. Squeegee Vegemite. Get your B12 in, people. Almost. Have you tried Vegemite before? Never. You I've know, heard of it, though. I've Definitely not either, but I've watched a lot of people try it. So. Well, we've got to try it then. Gold. Another Kit Kat. White chocolate and caramel. Ooh, Skittles. Smoothies. Smoothies. Ooh, peppermint crisp, chocito. <laughs> I've never seen a chocito. Toe. Oh, a chiquito. Chiquito. No, chiquito. chiquito. I don't know. I'm so sorry for butchering these names. This might be my favourite so far because it's Cadbury simply smooshed. Simply smooshed. Orange, Orange and, and hazelnut. That sounds good. What a great name. Oh, I've got more crisps. Red Rock Deli, sweet chili and sour cream. They sound banging. I'm loving the mix of sweet and savoury. Yeah. Is. Very well done. Flavoured milk bottles. Oh, love them. Toffee. Toffee. Chocolate. Oh, dark toffee chocolate. chocolate. Australian batch handmade dark chocolate. Twix. We do have that. Love it. Cadbury cherry ripe. Cherry ripe. Double dipped. <gasps> oh, Snickers crisp. Crispy Snickers. They've just actually released these in the UK and we love, love them. them. Protein chop chip. Brownie, that's nice. vegan as well. Table of plenty, rice thins. Ooh. Oh yeah, like chocolate rice. Dark chocolate and coconut. Nice. Ooh. Mars caramel sundae. Wow. Last but not least, a dairy milk caramello koala. Wow. And that is it. That is so Australian. What a stash. That is unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much. This is like, I don't even know. This is more than we thought. Well, more than we ever, ever expected. We never expect anything from anyone, but also more than I thought was going to be in that box. Yes. What do you reckon then? Let's, okay. We're going to do a quick thumbnail. We were just taking it all in again, and there's like so much here. So we're going to try as much as we possibly can in our break, and so that this video is not like an hour long. <laughs> but we'll give it a good go. We'll try as much as we can. But first and foremost, 
the most oh, important yeah. part of the video. So we have a card here from Monique. Oh, there's a koala oh, on there. That's a cute koala bear. Dear Matt and Emma, I've watched you guys from the start and I adore your real, honest reviews, but most of all, your infectious personalities. I filled this box with some of the most iconic Aussie snacks and treats and a few little plant-based treats. Very sweet. Please tell me you like Marmite because Vegemite is number one. If you haven't had it, the correct way is to butter toast and spread a thin amount. Thank you for being okay. you. Lots of love from Melbourne, Australia, from Mon or Monique. Thank you so much. So thank sweet. Thank you so, so much. I mean, we can just say thank you. That's all we can say. And we really, really are so grateful for you taking the time to go get all this stuff, packaging it up and sending it literally across the world. Literally halfway across the world. So let's try some more Australian snacks. Okay. <laughs> Where do we begin? I have no idea. I want to start with these personally. Okay. I mean, a box of crisps. I'm not going to argue with that. A box of crisps. Are not 15 packs of shapes crisps. There's, ooh. I know. Pizza barbecue. And mini chicken, chicken. crimpy. What's a chicken crimpy? I don't crimpy? know what a chicken crimpy is, but I like the sound of it. So here is the lovely box of dreams. I've not heard of Arnox. Never, have you? never heard of them. To okay. open, push, then pull. Push, then pull. Then pull. <sighs> okay, what flavour do you want to try? Guess. Pizza. Yes, please. Oh, they're like mini packs. Nice. I see. Okay. I'm going to just pull you guys a little bit closer because there's a little bit of a gap there, you see? I'll go on. How's that then? Yeah. Pizza for you. Oh, yeah. And I think I'll go for the barbecue. We can both try a bit of each. Ready? Yep. Ooh, Ooh okay. Cheddars. Oh, my God, they're like cheeselets. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Good crunch. What a crunch. These are so good. Oh, dear. We have 13 more packs of them. How long do you reckon that's going to last? What? Pizza. Mm. How good are they? 10 out of 10. Those are so good. What a way to start. Wow. It's just really, really nice to try these things that I probably would never get to try in my entire life. Yeah. You know what? That first recommendation is spot on. They so are delicious. Good. Are we going on for something sweet? Let's do these. Okay. So these are jam lamingtons. Lamingtons. I'll get one out and I'll show you. So this is the jam lamington. It's like they're like a chocolate sponge covered in coconut and I think there's jam inside. Thank you. Oh yeah, it smells lovely. It smells very nice. Cheers. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Wow. That is so up my street. Mm. Chocolate, coconut and jam. Two out of two. Two things Very we absolutely good. love. So maybe let's move on to something that we might not like so much. How will we know? Oh, you never know. I like mushrooms. Do you want to introduce these? All right, so these are shiitake mushroom crisps. Lightly cooked and seasoned. Now, I reckon that's a good savoury snack, but let's see, shall we? I have never, ever seen these before. So am I correct in thinking they're just going to be mushrooms in there? Yeah, but like... Like you know, dried and crisp. Yeah, have a look at that. That's proper mushrooms in there. Oh, they are. I don't know. Do you want to, do you want to see? I don't know if you can see properly. It's quite dark. Ooh, oh, there, there one goes. goes. One. Ah, so it's cooked using vacuum cooking. Right, I see. These feel really like they're going to be proper crunchy. Yeah, I like a good crunch though. Ready? Let's try it. Cheers. Oh, that's well nice. That's so tasty. What the? Ow! I told you mushrooms are good. These are delicious. That texture is so Moorish. Wow. See, we would never pick those up if we saw them in a shop. Never. We'd, we'd maybe look at them and think, oh, imagine that. What? Wow, okay. And it's resealable. Love it. That was a pleasant surprise. I've got good vibes about this box. <laughs> you thought that was going to be the stitcher. I thought that was going to be the one. Let's try these. Ooh, straight off to a mushroom. I love Skittles, right? Mm. I really like Skittles. Never seen these before. So these are smoothie Skittles. <laughs> Quite an unpopular opinion, but I don't like regular Skittles. I only like the sour ones. Yeah, the sour ones are lovely. Oh, they look interesting. Are they kind of pastel-y? You see, they've got like smoothie flavours. I love that. It's like baby blue, baby pink, all the babies. I like those a lot. Wow, we. I prefer them to the normal Skittles, by far. Where to? Um, let's try... Tim Tam. Yes. Ooh, let's try an original Tim Tam. Oh, this is the same brand as the crisps. Arnott's. Arnott's, that's right, yeah. Made with irresistibly <laughs> <No. laughs> really real chocolate. So these are the original and those are the salt caramel. So we try both. Yeah. Tim Tam original, Tim Tam oh. salt caramel. So you said these are like what, penguins? Yeah. 
Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Mm. That is so good. <laughs> the texture and the look of it is really similar to a penguin, but the chocolate in that, I think it's nicer. It's better. So this has got chocolate biscuit and that hasn't. So okay, that man. is lovely. Okay. Mm. That one's much better. Mm -hmm. It's actually like, when we do these videos, it's like you don't really want to say that everything tastes amazing. Mm. You'd think we're just saying that, but like so far, literally everything tastes amazing. All of those things have been incredible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So good. Where'd you go when everything's been so good? I know. Okay, let's try some of these crisps then. So either, we love salt vinegar, so why don't we try yeah. that? Oh, they're crinkled. Love that. Now, immediately when we see pink packets of crisps in the UK, we think like prawn cocktail or sweet chili sometimes yeah, is pink, isn't true. it? Yeah, that's true. This is salt and vinegar. And I guess Smith's is sort of like their walkers. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Now, love a crisp. We all know. And we love salt and vinegar crisps too. Yeah, they're in our top five. Oof. I don't know if this is an original size pack of Smith's, but I'm already more on board with the size of this bag compared to the walkers. Much bigger. In the UK, if you buy a single packet of crisps, they are like a third full. Yeah. If that. They smell good. They smell good, yeah. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Oh no. They are perfectly seasoned. Oh, go on, you'll like that one. The half rolled over crisp is the best crisp. Your favourite. Wowie. Emma. <laughs> is it my turn to pick? Go on for it. Go on for it. Go, go on, on for then. it. I want to try the wagon wheel. Okay. Oh, this is Arnott's too. Ah. I'm seeing a trend here. I'm seeing a trend. Arnott's is the trend and we like Arnott's. We're going to try Arnott's Wagon Wheel. So the first thing I noticed when opening it is it's got like serrated edge. Serrated? Oh yeah, it's a bit crinkly. Kind of. It looks different, doesn't it, to a... Yeah, it looks like darker chocolate. It does. It does look really different. Looks good. Oh, it smells like dark chocolate All right, Arnott's, let's see what you got. Cheers. Oh, soft. You're a happy boy. Arnott's know what they're doing. That is so good. The biscuit is thinner than a UK mm. wagon wheel. I'd say I can't taste much jam, but I did they have They could do with bit. more jam. Okay, I reckon we try one more of these crisps at least. Okay. Which one would you go for first? This one? Baked one, okay. Uh, this is new sour cream and chives oven baked crisps. All right, see that is not full. Oh, I see. Here we go. Here we go. The scandal. That looks like I've been eating it for a couple minutes, but that is freshly opened. That's why it's 50% less fat. Yeah, because there's, there's half, half, there's in, half there. in there. Yeah. Oh, they look lovely though. They do. They I look like, really lovely and baked. I like the oven baked crisps here. Mmm. They taste like Pringles. They do, yeah. The green Pringles in the UK. Yummy. Oh dear. They are good. You can't really see what we've got left, so I'm going to bring this table up a little oh. bit. There we go. You can see, see a bit more. more now. Where to? I have no idea. Let's try one of these Kit Kats, shall we? All right then. So we've got two to pick from. We've got the Kit Kat Gold and the Kit Kat Double Cookies and Cream. There's the Kit Kat Double Cookies and Cream. This is the Kit Kat Gold. I think we had this in the UK, you know, a few years ago. Let's try the new one. Go on then. So the double cookies and cream. There we go. Oh, it smells sweet. Is that white chocolate on top? Looks like it. Mm-hmm. Tasty. Not the biggest fan of white chocolate, I'll be honest. It's the cream of the cookies and cream, isn't it? So it's not proper white chocolate, but it's very sweet on the outside. Yeah. I still think I might pick a regular Kit Kat over that, though. I agree. And I'll always go for a Kit Kat Chunky. Always. Or a peanut butter cookie. <laughs> No, peanut butter kick up <laughs> Peanut butter Kit Kat chunky is yeah, a winner. They are so good. Okay, so next I think we should try some sweets. Okay. Got two to choose from. Got two, yeah. Both from Allen's now. Oh, we've moved on to Allen's. Flavoured milk bottles mm. and sours tangy randoms. So let's try the randoms to start with. Okay. There they are. We love a sweet. Love a sweet. I definitely prefer sour sweets to regular ones in general. 
or they've got a good mix for us because I like the ones with the white stuff on the back and you don't. Yeah, you know the ones in Haribo that have like the white fluff, like the hearts and stuff? Love it. I don't like them. What is that? It's just a random. Right. It could be anything. Mm. It's just like a tang plastic. I, I don't know. I think they taste a bit better than tang plastics. They're not as sour as tang plastics. Those are good. This is the best like snack haul we've had in a long time, I think. Mm -hmm. Should we try these? Yeah. Now it looks like they've got vanilla chocolate and strawberry. Vanilla malt, strawberry and oak chocolate. Ooh, oak. Australian made. What flavour would you like to try? Chocolate. There's your chocolate Thank bottle. You. Ooh, it's a bit firm. Yeah, they are. I'll try the strawberry. Yeah, so they like that. Oh, it smells like Nesquik. Oh, that reminds me of something. Smells stronger than it tastes. I'll tell you what, for me, what it reminds me of. Do you know what those little ice lollies you get in the UK? The mini milk. Yes. The moo, the whatever they're called. Whatever, mini milk, moo milk things. Exactly the same. That's the same flavour of chocolate. It is. And exactly. the little mini milks. What are they called? I think they are called mini milks. I think they're called mini milks. Probably wouldn't like buy those. No, but I like the not ice my, cream. Not my cup of tea. What's oak chocolate? I have no idea. You know, I don't know if this is a psychological thing. But because you said oak, and when I was chewing, I was like, it does taste a bit woody. <laughs> no, it's just so, like, almost nutty. Yeah, smoky. Yeah, smoky. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm intrigued by... Very intrigued by this. this. Mars Caramel Sunday Limited Edition. Now, I don't recall seeing this in the UK before. Never seen that before, no. It's and a bit I'm, squished. I know my Mars bar stuff. I'm intrigued. This Mars bar has travelled a long way to be with us today. It has. And it looks like it's across uh... galaxies. <laughs> Cheers. Mm, chewy. There's a lot of caramel in there. A lot of caramel. That really does taste like the um, the sauce that you put on like a caramel sundae. I think the flavour of it was quite nice, but I think I'd still go for a regular Mars bar. Me too. I agree. Mm, we got time for a few more things. Okay, a few more and then we, we must get, we back, must to get work. back to work. By the way, if you're thinking, why didn't you just film this on another day? It's because we're filming two other things on the weekend. So this was like a midweek film situation. Um, koala? Yeah, go on then. So obviously here in the UK, we have things called Freddos and they're like a little frog and you can either get like a chocolate frog, Cadbury, or... Cabri? Yeah, dairy milk frog or a dairy milk Freddo with caramel. Yeah, so I guess this is the same. It feels big, but I'm not sure if it's melted and reformed. I, I think it might have done. There's our little koala friend. Much bigger is than a Is he in one piece? Oh dear. Oh, is that an ear? Oh no, it's a foot. Oh, he might have made it. His foot's fallen off. There you go. Apparently, koalas don't travel very well. That's a funny looking koala. Obviously, this poor fella, I think you can kind of see where his ears and face were, but had a bit of a rough trip but that's okay i'm sure he's still delicious oh oh it's like a freddo lots of caramel it's inside. a massive freddo isn't it i know you can't really tell because it, it has been quite melted but i still think that was going to be bigger than a freddo oh yeah look one, how much 100 100 the package is much bigger Ooh. it's a freddo mm-hmm oh nice though tasty would you pick a regular freddo or a caramel freddo depends what mood i'm in but probably a caramel for though. We are nearly out of time, but I think we can squeeze in. You want to try this thing? I wanted to try the smooshed bar. <laughs> also, it's something so different than we've ever seen before. It's Cadbury, isn't it? I mean, this looks really good. I hope that they're bringing this into the UK or whatever, because it's orange and hazelnut. Simply smooshed by Cadbury. I just love the name. Smooshed. Dates, peanuts, orange oil, and hazelnuts dipped in delicious Cadbury dark chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I can't recall trying orange and hazelnut together because it's always one or the other. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Mm. Now that is not like a chocolate bar. It's more of a... What do you call that? You know, mm. More of like a nut bar. Mm. It tastes really similar to the like naked bars yeah. we have in the yeah. UK. Really yummy. Fruit winders? Yeah. Okay. Or roll-ups as they call them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> These are by Uncle Toby's and they're actually called roll-ups made with real fruit. Fruit salad flavour. That's not what I was expecting. Oh, okay. No, not at all. 
Okay, they're not like fruit winders at all. Really different to what I was expecting. In the UK, they come as like a bit of a ball that you unwind. Yeah. Which is why they're called fruit winders. Ah, I see. So it's really similar, but you just unroll it this way. Ooh. Oh, it smells really strong. Oh. Right, if I spit it down the middle, we can try all three flavours. This is more similar to the consistency of like, you know, there's like that Yo-Yo Bear brand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got fruit. Yo, yo, yo. Real, <laughs> real fruit winders. How are you going to do this? I don't know. Should we roll it back up and eat it? I'm going to roll it up like this. Okay. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> That's not bad. It's really tasty. That's nicer than a fruit winder because it's not as artificial. I was just going to say that. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a like a whack of sugar. No artificial colours or flavours. There you go. It only seems right that we end this Australian snack video with Vegemite. Heard lots about Vegemite. Mm -hmm. Proudly Australian made and owned. Now, I think this is just Marmite, no? Apparently it's different. Well, one says that's number one. I love that it's in a squeezy too. Oh, it's, it smells well different. Ooh. I don't even know, it smells, I don't know. No, that smells quite similar to Marmite. Does it? I feel like it's just been sat there the whole video, just taking up all the, the attention, ready to be tried. You'll get to the edit and it'll be the only thing that's been in focus yeah. the whole time. <laughs> what <laughs> video was it? Oh, it was our Halloween was video, yeah. where we put a pumpkin here just for the aesthetic and the show, and it, it was focused on that the whole time. The camera thought it was a face, and we like, were like, oh, this face isn't moving. <laughs> I think we should try it exactly how Monique suggested. Okay, if you haven't had it the correct way, yeah. is to butter the toast and spread a thin amount. Okay. Okay. So I'll go and prepare that, shall I? Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of butter. We'll share one. But we'll have a little bit, okay. We're just gonna try it. So I'm right. gonna go and try that now. Okay. We don't have any toast in at the minute, but we've got a bunch of the Warburton sandwich thins, so I'm sure that'll do the trick. Yep. Is there butter in them? Yeah, so I put a little bit of butter as suggested and then just a thin layer of Vegemite. It comes I'd, out thick. I'd argue that's not a thin layer. It comes out thick. Can I show you what Matt thinks a thin layer is? Oh, right. Oh, no, so it's thick in places. There are some thicker chunks. <laughs> You're oh, not my. the biggest fan of Marmite. No. I don't mind it. I go through phases where, I don't know, you get the taste for it and more and more you want it. But because I haven't had it in ages, I'm not sure how my taste buds are going to react to this. Yeah. Everyone says you either love it or hate it, but I'm actually in impartial. The middle. I'm impartial. Okay, first time ever trying Vegemite. Oh dear. Here's to you, Monique. Cheers. I don't mind that. Oh dear. But that does taste different to Marmite, to me anyway. You don't like it? Not at all. Oh, it tastes like metal. It tastes like licking a spoon. What is that? I like that more than I thought I was going to. Really? Because I've just not had Marmite in so long. Well, I'll let you crack on that. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna get the taste out of my mouth with some more of these shapes. I love that bit for you. Let's push this one down, shall we? Okay, guys. So that seems to be a good place to end this video. Like we said, we've still got a couple of snacks here. Some things we've tried before, some other new things, so we will try those in good time. Most of what, well, nearly everything that we tried has been absolutely delicious. If you were to pick your top thing, your one top thing. One. Just you one. You know I can't. Just one, unfortunately. Actually, you know what, that, that might be quite difficult for me too. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just going to have to put a blanket over it and say... All of it. Everything was very good today. Okay, fair enough. We'll do that then. We won't do it for this one, but everything we tried, bar the Vegemite, for me, it was absolutely delicious. Oh, the um, only thing actually was the the milk bottles. We weren't too sure. Oh yeah, about the milk bottles were a bit like you know take you know, take it take or leave it. Take it or leave it. And a large majority of that stuff we've never tried before. I've not even seen half those things before. Mm. Shiitake mushroom crisps. I mean. So we've had loads of fun filming this video, trying these new snacks. Uh, we really hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, if you have, then please drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think you like the look of from this haul. And if you like the video, please remember to smash a thumbs up. And if you're not doing so already, then what are you doing? Please hit that subscribe button. Let me jump a little bit. Really? <laughs> Obviously, one massive big thank you again to Monique yeah. Mon. Thank you so much for sending us these snacks. I mean, we've probably said it so many times in this video already, but we are blown away. This was incredibly generous of you. And once again, just thank you for reaching out to us. All I have to say is we hope you guys are staying safe no matter where you are. Join us soon for a brand new video. 
But for now, we will say take care and we'll see you guys very soon. And the soon. battery's about to die anyway. Just as so. the battery goes. <laughs>